G'day and welcome back to yet another Nucleares tutorial. Recently the Synchroscope dropped and it has been a learning curve, let me just say the least. Today I want to show you everything you need to know, hopefully, to get you through and up and running with stable output to the power grid. So I'm not really going to explain how the nuclear reactor and all that works, but I'm just going to go ahead and turn everything on as need be. Just for the fact that if you want to see how a reactor kind of works in the game, go ahead and check out my in-depth tutorial guide. Uh, I can leave it at the uh, end of the video if you wish. So everything's on. I'm going to flick that onto nominal. And just pop that into the core just like so and shut that down. Visual cue to say that yes, Sharpie, you have done that as well as saving 60 kilowatts. That's just a bonus. My memory ain't the best. Yep, let's start operations right meow. And I nearly forgot. No, I did not. I did remember to turn that vacuum pump on. That's good. Good. They received my request to start up. And the way this all works, when you first start up, come on over here and open this breaker. With this light here, or this light here, red, it means you are not outputting anything to the grid. So that power needs to go somewhere, so go ahead and turn on your only available resistor bank, which is number one right here. This has a capacity of 5,000 kilowatts, and you don't want to go over that number here before these are matching up. You're synced, and your circuit breaker is closed, so then you'd be outputting to the grid, but I'm going to show you everything you need to know. Uh, 10 o'clock, no problemo. Our vacuum should be pulled. Let's go ahead and pop that off. Come on over here. Vessel pressure and all that is still going. Did I get my condenser on? No, I did not. That's fine. I get that on now. Get that on onto the 50%. I might as well get that on now just for the fact that I can show everything. 50 and down to 40 just setting myself up just so it makes it easier down the line leave that pump off for now turn that on to the 50 percent value on the uh condenser yep 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 i have inserted it yep that is good okay awesome so now what i can do is raise this to 94 we have our primary coolant flowing that's good vessel pressure is raising Let's come and stand over here, and then we'll turn off this pressurizer when it actually gets to about 175-ish, as it will come down over time as you're raising up this temperature. So don't worry about anything else yet, for the fact that you're only waiting for this thing here to raise at least to about 100 degrees, then that will start lowering down because it's creating steam. But we'll get there in a second, as you can see, it's rather low. There's the critical mass of the reactor above 55 degrees. Awesome source. The reactor has reached critical mass and its status has changed to reactor. Yes. Thank you, AO. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Except when audits come. Yeah, he's the auditor. That dude right there, he's your auditor. Oh, a little bit too much. That's fine. Let's crank that off right there and I'm going to turn that down to medium. Just for the fact that anything above 190, oh, that was really close. Then you'll start getting alarms going off. But that's fine as it is. It'll come down over time. Coming on over here. We'll check this. We're only at 67 degrees at the moment. We haven't turned that pump on yet. That's all good. Circuit break is open. Resistor bank 1 is on. The condenser is still loading. We can now turn this off just like so. Just because that is now just about perfect. Everything takes time to power up, power down, obviously. This one's still coming up to temperature. Vessel pressure's come down a bit. That's good. 104. Let's crank pump 3 on because this value is dropping. Yep. Now we need to catch up to that and start producing power. So give that a little bit. That will take a bit of time before anything needs to happen. You need to come over here and stabilize your temperature first. And the way you do that is obviously with the control rods right here. Current reactivity is extremely high, so let's just uh, just pop that down just a, just a little bit, see how we go. Everything has a cause and effect. 96. Now, nah, I'll leave that as is just for now. I'm going to run back over here. There we go. Just to show you that it is raising back up again because we finally came up to the actual ordered number current there we go good 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 come back over here Danger alarm. 
Aha, uh -huh. good. Good, good, good. I'm gonna go ahead and acknowledge straight away for the fact that we requested to put out power and we got a 10 o'clock time. It's nine minutes, as you can see in the, or eight minutes now, before that time, and we're generating power. Because our circuit breaker is open, AKA that light is red, we're not putting anything out to the grid just yet. So that's a completely nullified alarm. Don't worry about that. Now you're increasing this number, go ahead, increase this up to 25%, just like so, and leave both of them for now. You can go over here and check it, should still be raising quite a lot, that's fine, leave that as is, and come back over here, and you wanna stabilize this a little bit more. So we're still high on the reactivity, and we're almost at the 360. So I'm gonna go 98. 99.2 is what you're really aiming for when you get close to 360, or even just beforehand, so might as well do that now. 99.2. So that should bring it back down to like, yeah, about there-ish. About 10.3, 10.4, just so that raises up to 360 degrees. Awesome. So now we've still got a low generator output, or reactor power output. That's lower than this. Anything higher than 5,000 kilowatts and you're gonna blow your bank. So as this raises up and up and up, that's fantastic. Just leave that as is. It's nowhere near the 5,000. This is now starting to drop. So crank it up by another five, just like so. As well as bringing this up by another five. So go ahead and do that. It should stabilize this, if not drop it by a few digits. There we go, slowing down, and then down it goes. It should stabilize back out again as it comes back up. There we go, should drop by not that much. You control this to drop and raise by how much steam you're bypassing the turbines using these bypass valves. There we go, we're coming back up again. Good, good, come and check this again. 83, it's kind of stabilizing out. Quickly check our temperature, nowhere near dangerous, that's good. We're at about 1,500 out of 5,000 that we can do, so we are producing power nice and stably technically right now. Let's go ahead and turn our generator down to automatic, and it will shut down in the background, which was right above our heads at that time. Good, good. What have we got here? Still stabilized. It's coming down just a smidge. That's fine. This is still coming up ever so slightly. That's fine. That is fine. You don't need to touch anything. Don't touch anything. You're just controlling how much power you're making. So this one here raises up to match the 22,000. Obviously, the more resistor banks you have, will obviously raise this number here to make it a lot easier in the future. But I've noticed that if you have this too low, it just doesn't transfer enough speed or enough temperature over to the generator to actually get this up and running pretty much almost as fast as you possibly can. So this is only raising just ever so slightly and that's what we want. We don't want it to raise too fast, that's good. This is coming up nice and speedy, that's awesome. About a hundred a tick, that's good, if not more. We're about halfway to what our resistor bank can take. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna raise this up by like two just so it kind of balances out a little bit. And if it drops down too fast or by too much, I'll then change that. But that looks okay. It's dropping down a little bit slowly, that's fine. But this should still be rising, that's good. Let's come over here and check our pressure and our temperature because that's all stabilizing. Crack the pressure on just to bring it up to 170 as it still will come down over time. Good, 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 good. This one's still coming back up again, that's okay. Let's just go ahead and crank this up by another percent. Here we go. And what's this one doing? 12, 12, 11 and a half. It's dropping by like 0.3 to 0.5 liters a second. That's, whoa! Oh, I nearly did it again. Oh, that's close. That was close. Okay, that's fine as it is. It'll come down slowly. No alarm should go off. It's a little overpressurized, so make sure you don't do that. That was a very silly Sharpie. Here we go, we're still raising a little bit. That's okay, we're at the 22,000. What you wanna do, you see how this is circling? You want to raise it, you see how it's too fast? You wanna speed it up. So now get it in that motion. In that motion, nice and easy. Slow it down if you need be. 
Oh, no, raise it back up again. Get up to the top and green. Close that breaker. We are now outputting power to the grid because we closed that breaker. I can now close this off all the way down. And a little tip if you've got more than one loop, make sure this speed of your generator does not go above 100%. If it does, this will go out of whack. You'll get kicked off the grid, your resistors will blow, and you just won't have a good day. It'll be very expensive. So make sure you don't do that. This should now come down because we're bypass, we're not bypassing any of the steam. So this temperature here should now be able to drop significantly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that into 25. So that's perfectly fine. If you wanna raise the temperature, if you wanna raise any of the more of the power that you need, even though this is still raising, as this is still figuring itself out somewhat in the background. So it's still coming up to power. We should get about 6,500 kilowatts or more than enough for when you need to start up compared to what that city is demanding straight away. And it's like 10 minutes before 11 o'clock when this service compliance actually does matter. So obviously between the hours of 10 and 11, you don't get any royalty points for servicing any compliance. Any time after 11, so one hour after the time they give you, so 11 o'clock, that's when the service compliance estimate must be at about 100% or whatever your objective is throughout that day. So as always, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, all that good jazz. Stay sharp till next time as always. See ya.